14 kilometers from world famous Mahabodhi temple. Gaya cantonment dates back to World War II. 1941, Commander in Chief, India House. 1963, Commander 42 Infantry Brigade, Flagstaff House. 1976, ASC House. And finally, in 2011, OTA House. To be an officer and a gentleman, the grand dream of many young men to join the elite Indian Army is nurtured and nourished at the Officers Training Academy, Gaya. The third premier pre-commissioned training academy of India. The cradle of military leadership. Situated amidst lush green environs of Paharpur, Gaya, Training of the first batch of gentlemen cadets began here in July 2011. Since then, this esteemed institution has churned out many heroes in the making. The Academy was formally inaugurated on 14th November 2011 by the then Chief of the Army Staff. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. The end, they say, is always a new beginning. The Antim Pug, or the final step, is that burnishing altar which marks the transition of young boys into men of steely resolve. Signifying the culmination of the rigorous training which a gentleman cadet undergoes, it heralds the birth of a new legion of gallant men whom the nation can count on. But to see the light of this glorious day, many challenges and rigors have to be borne with fortitude and elan. We trace the journey of these young men from the day they arrive at the academy with dreams in their eyes, awe in their minds, and inspiration in their hearts, mixed with a slight trepidation naturally arising from unfamiliar surroundings. The Officer Training Academy's mission is to educate, train and inspire the gentleman cadets so that each young man becomes a commissioned leader of character committed to the values of duty, honor and country and prepared for a career of professional excellence and service to the nation as an officer in the Indian Army. The Academy has a 44-week training program which focuses on the development of gentlemen cadets in the academic, military and physical domains, all underwritten by adherence to a code of honor for dynamic future military leaders who live up to the high traditions of the Indian Army. It is an institute which turns an ordinary neighborhood boy into an officer and teaches him to lead his men during both war and peace. OTA Gaya was raised in July 2011 basically to take training overload from IMA Dehradun and OTA Chennai since both these academies were training much more than their design capacities. In a very short span of time, we have been able to create state-of-the-art training infrastructure here in Gaya, which is comparable with any other academy of Indian Army. The other infrastructure, however, is ad hoc at the moment. Our case for permanent infrastructure is in the pipeline. On fructification of that, this academy will be a world-class academy and maybe one of the best in the country. Presently, we are training 10 plus 2 technical entry scheme and special commission officers courses. The design capacity is 750. However, we are training 400 at the moment because of the constraint of infrastructure. I can say with confidence that through this 10 plus 2 technical entry scheme, we are getting best youth from the environment. These people do one year of basic military training here in OTA Gaya, followed by uh, four years of degree engineering from respective cadet training wings before they join the unit. I am sure these young officers 
will be actually helping Indian Army in modernization at the grassroots level for 21st century battlefield. The colors of the academy are French grey and crimson red, upper half grey and the lower half blood red. The grey for steel denotes strength and resilience, whereas the red for blood signifies the ultimate sacrifice. The colors thus symbolize the living spirit of the academy, representing all that is noble and honorable. Speaking of honor and sacrifice of the men in olive green, one is reminded of the inspiring lines from a poem by Captain R. Subramaniam Kirti Chakra posthumously. You have never lived until you have almost died. And for those who choose to fight, life has a special flavor. The protected will never know. The insignia of Officers Training Academy has two cross swords superimposed with the Dharma Chakra. A scroll below bears the motto of the Academy Shorya, Gyan, Sankal in Devnagri, literally meaning courage, wisdom, and resolve. This epitomizes the code of conduct of a soldier under all circumstances and times. The Academy has earnestly, industriously and zealously striven hard to inculcate this dictum in all the gentlemen cadets passing out from this prestigious institution. It is the honor and the never say die attitude which enables these future leaders of the Indian Army to launch the final assault to protect the motherland and plant the nation's tricolor at soaring peaks in inhospitable terrain. The Academy conducts training for the Technical Entry Scheme TES, and Special Commission Officer SCO, entries. The cadets belonging to the TES category join the Academy after completing their 10 plus 2 schooling while the cadets for the SCO are selected from the rank and file of the armed forces. The training period for the technical entry scheme is five years and is conducted in two phases. In the first phase, basic military training of one year is imparted at OTA, Gaya. While in the second phase, technical training comprising three years, pre-commission training and one year post-commission training is imparted at various technical colleges of the army. The training period for the special commission officer is one year wherein the gentlemen cadets undergo basic military training prior to their commission. We at the academy ensure that the gentlemen cadets of the technical entry scheme and special commissioned officer are put through an intense and grueling training schedule to transform them from energetic youth to professional soldiers possessing wider understanding of modern-day military concepts and challenges. The curriculum is designed to help the trainees acquire knowledge pivotal to the modern military environment. The introduction of field engineering and map reading rooms, firing simulator and the sports medicine center has enhanced the training spectrum of the academy. During the 44 weeks training program, we enable each gentleman cadet to carry out his thought analysis of himself so that they are prepared to meet any challenge that they may face in the line of duty in future. The curriculum ensures that the gentleman cadets with a well-developed all-round personality passes out from the portals of this academy who is always committed to uphold the best traditions of the Indian Army. On arrival at OTA, Gentlemen cadets are allotted companies that are part of training battalions. These serve as their home away from home during the training period. Friends, tomorrow we have got the cross country run and we gladiators are known for winning trophies. So tomorrow we are going to win this trophy. Gladiators! The companies instill in them strong affiliation, 
sense of pride and team spirit which are essential for soldiers. These battalions and companies have been christened with the names of gallant war heroes and victorious battle honours respectively. Gentlemen cadets in this academy are organized into battalions with well furnished cabins having think line system, IT room having internet connections, anti rooms having billiards and pool tables and a state of art gymnasiums. The instructors posted in the battalion are the best in Indian Army and many of them are gallantry award winners. They are the role models for gentlemen cadets and play a crucial role in imparting the military training and they constantly groom their personality and motivate them to be effective and dynamic role models. All the administrative and personal issues of the gentleman cadets are taken care of at the battalion level. The aspects of competitive spirit, esprit de corps and camaraderie are inculcated into gentlemen cadets through various indoor and outdoor inter-battalion competitions. They say an army marches on its stomach. At the gentlemen cadets mess, provision of nutritious diet for these growing adolescents undergoing rigors of training is ensured. Not only do they share meals together, but also their day. Regular dinner night ceremonies are held which bring together the trainees and the trainers in an atmosphere of camaraderie, a good fellowship which helps in gentlemen cadets acquire social graces and build social rapport. Sitting alongside and sharing meals also inculcates a spirit decor and bonding amongst all. Like every other youngster, I too faced a dilemma of choosing a career option on completion of my 10 plus 2. Joining Officers Training Academy Gaya has not only provided me an adventurous way of life but also allows me to be an engineer and a soldier. All this has happened at a young stage of my life whereas all my peers are still struggling to find a foothold. This academy has given me a distinct identity, a truly unique sense of belongingness. The training imparted here focuses on development of physical, mental and social skills. The gentlemen cadets follow a meticulously planned daily regime. Their day begins with muster, which is a morning prayer to seek blessings for moral, physical and intellectual strength. The gentlemen cadets thereafter embark on their training routine consisting of military training and academic subjects. The four pillars of military training are physical fitness, drill, tactics and weapon training. These pillars help in inculcating the most desired characteristics of soldiering and train both mind and body. The focus of the training curriculum at the academy has been to develop leadership, character and intellect of the GCs so as to enable them to lead troops both in peace and war. The quality of life and security offered to me and my family by the armed forces is not offered by any other profession. No other organization looks after its employees like the armed forces which is one closely knit family. Training imparted here is not just about the grueling routine with no respite. In fact, there are many other activities that we can indulge during our leisure time. It gives us a chance to develop and pursue creative hobbies. Being a sportsman, the academy has given me opportunity to play games like squash, tennis, basketball, swimming, etc. Physical fitness and endurance is a must for every soldier. With a belief that a fit body has a fit mind, due emphasis is laid on physical training. 
world class gymnasiums with latest workout equipment and aesthetically designed interiors have been installed in each company, while new sports equipment and items have been provided at the academy to aid the GCs achieve the requisite physical standards. Apart from PT, to build the physical prowess of the gentlemen cadets, sports like hockey, football, volleyball, basketball, swimming, etc. are conducted as each sporting event is like war for a GC as he fights with every drop of his sweat to win the trophy. The academy rightfully boasts of an unrivaled sports medicine center which is unique to this academy. It provides high quality physiotherapy treatment using scientifically established techniques and cryotherapy. Under supervision of a sports medicine specialist, progressive treatment of injuries and strengthening exercises related to sports and physical training are provided to enable the gentlemen cadets to fine-tune their bodies to reach their optimal level of performance. Horses have a long-standing association with the armed forces. The equitation team undertakes training both as a club activity and as part of the training curriculum during both terms at the all-weather enclosed riding school. The gentlemen cadets are instructed in basic skills of riding and also some advanced moves. The training is carried with an aim to give the cadets the confidence to ride alone in the countryside. The section also boasts two horse-drawn carriages meant for ceremonial occasions and two specially trained horses for the adjutant to ride during the POP. is the bedrock of discipline in the armed forces as one learns to respond to a command without hesitation. It is at this parade ground at OTA where the foundation of discipline for the future officers of the army is laid. Drill instills teamwork, confidence, pride, alertness, attention to detail, spirit decor and discipline in the individual. It cultivates a way of life in which the highest and the noblest attributes of discipline, character and courage are not only blended but also nurtured and nourished. Drill largely depends on good music by the military bands as movements on the drill square require steady rhythms to keep the soldiers in step. It is a well acknowledged fact that bands contribute to the fighting power by supporting the ethos, tradition and identity of our personnel and hence the OTA is no different and has its own band which contributes in a big way in shaping the future leadership of the Indian Army. Hailing from a completely civilian background, joining the Indian Armed Forces was like entering uncharted waters for me. Training at the Academy made me learn to shoulder responsibilities, understand the value of teamwork and camaraderie, punctuality and discipline. At a young age, it gave me a platform to become a leader instead of being led. It gave me a lot of self-confidence and as an army officer, I'll not only be a worthy citizen, but also I am sure I can contribute a lot more to the society. I am a soldier. Fighting is my dharma. This basic tenant of soldiering is manifested by means of tactical training imparted to the gentlemen cadets. This comprises basic military training essential to survive and win any battle. It consists of simple exercises 
like taking cover under fire to complex ones like deployment in a battlefield. Receiving company commander, receiving platoon commander should be able to locate their men correctly. Platoon is required for reinforcement. What should the platoon training is conducted through a series of lecture come demonstrations followed by outdoor camps and exercises. These exercises expose the gentleman cadets to offensive and defensive operations, conduct of patrolling and ambush, as well as to counterinsurgency and counter-terrorist operations. It covers the covering flank of the company and in the attack ops of war, it forms part of the fire base. The best companion of a soldier is his weapon which makes it essential for a soldier to efficiently handle his weapon and imbibe the concept of Ek Goli, Ek Dushan. The GCs undergo weapon training and firing at the firing range and grenade throwing bay. In addition, a firing simulator is installed to provide practice in various operational environments the modern day rocket launchers, fire! Fire! mortar firing, machine gun firing, and use of hand grenades and mines is part of the training curriculum. The ultimate test of what the gentlemen cadets have learned throughout their basic military training is conducted to test and push the battlecraft and fieldcraft skills they have acquired here as well as their self-confidence to the limit. It gives them a realistic experience of a conventional battle by simulating the actual conditions using explosives and fire. As a platoon and a company commander and as instructor, here we impart basic military training to gentlemen cadet and make them aware of their future role as a young officer. Our aim is to bring out leadership qualities in gentlemen cadets so that they are better prepared to face any kind of challenges in future. And once they go to the battalion, they are able to lead one of the finest men which any army has to offer. As instructor, we conduct their indoor classes and outdoor training. We conduct lecture and demonstrations for them and camps also, so that they are better aware of the combat environment. We also act as a local guardian for the gentleman cadet and we take care of all their needs related to training, administration, health and personal problem if any. Participation in training camps and run back exercises is an integral part of converting a gentleman cadet into an officer. These run back exercises and training camps are challenging because of the adverse weather conditions and the terrain in which they are conducted. We here at OTA are adequately geared to intervene at the correct moment in the correct time so that the training remains casualty free. Gentlemen, the camp change is over now. Now is the time to head back to the academy. The distance involved is 40 kilometers. Are you ready? Yes, sir! Ready to go roll? Yes, sir! All set? Yes, sir! Good. Just keep one thing in mind. Josh ke saath? Hoj bhi rakhna hai! Hoj bhi rakhna hai, kona nahi hai. Bona! Sonia! But exciting. It was good. We went through a quite a treacherous terrain, through a tide river, up to a hill, through the cross country routes, all the fields of this Gaya, Bihar. But at this, after coming at this point, it was like ultimate. Apart from the military training, academic subjects are an integral part of the curriculum of the GCs at OTA. 
The enhanced emphasis and focus on the concept of scholar warriors has given an impetus to intellectual development of these future leaders. Instructions in academic subjects are imparted in order to intellectually stimulate the gentleman cadets and sharpen their cognitive skills. A conducive environment where the young inquisitive minds acquire knowledge and raise their queries without inhibition is fostered by a team of qualified instructors. All indoor classes are conducted in the academic block with state-of-the-art facilities to foster learning environment and for ease of access. Thin clients containing all the prescribed material have been provided at the academic block and cabins in the companies. The academy also boasts of a well-stocked library with all latest books, magazines, journals and e-learning material which are most sought after by gentlemen cadets. In addition to service subjects, drill, sports and other kinds of outdoor training, academic subjects form an essential component of training at the academy. It comprises subjects such as science and warfare, military history and English communication skills to name a few. These subjects are taught to the gentlemen cadets with an aim to equip them with scholastic aptitude so that their minds are sharpened and they become scholar warriors. However, the role of an instructor is not just restricted to teaching but also encompasses grooming these gentlemen cadets and showing them the military way of life. In addition to fulfilling my dreams of becoming an army officer, the technical entry scheme gives an added advantage of earning a much sort of the engineering degree from the reputed military colleges of engineering located at Pune, Mau and Secunderabad. We here at the academy are not only trained to become leaders but also qualified engineers to meet the challenges of the modern warfare and that too without any hefty fee as our education and training is entirely free of cost. To cater to the needs of personality development of the gentlemen cadets and ensure a more holistic training curriculum, co-curricular activities like English and Hindi debates, quiz competitions and variety entertainment programs are organized. These events serve to showcase the individual talents of the gentlemen cadets and highlight different facets of their personalities. To give the gentlemen cadets an opportunity to engage in creative and artistic pursuits during leisure, many hobby clubs have been devised to encourage the gentlemen cadets to participate in creative activities of their choice and liking. Additionally, they serve to provide a break from the grinding routine of the tough military training while aiding the gentlemen cadets in honing their skills in their areas of interest. The gentlemen cadets have a wide range of clubs to choose from, such as photography, music and dramatics, automotive club, to name a few. Educational hikes are also organized to various locations during mid-term break. To enable the gentlemen cadets to unwind after their grueling training session, many recreational facilities like Billions, snooker, TT, reading room and carom are available at their place of stay. The challenging and successful completion of the grueling basic military training 
is no small achievement for the graduating gentleman cadets. During the period, each cadet strives to excel and be the best among equals and this hard work is rewarded during the dinner nights. Commandants medals and trophies of various Indian Army commands have been instituted to award the deserving gentleman cadets. The awards of General Officer Commanding-in-Chief Army Training Command Gold Medal for Special Commission Officer and Technical Entry Scheme are awarded to Best Overall Cadets in their respective groups, which is an honor they will carry with great pride for the rest of their career. On the eve of passing out parade, as the gentlemen cadets leave the portal of academy, we can see a big transformation in them. Out of thousands of candidates who applied, these were the chosen few who finally qualified for the highest privilege of serving the nation in the noble profession of arms and officership. A profession where life is endangered by the very virtue of its purpose and demands the ultimate sacrifice. And therefore, trust is sacred and integrity forms a prerequisite for any gentleman cadet and an officer. Tomorrow, when the gentleman cadets of the passing out course take the final step, they make a lifelong commitment to honorable living as a leader of true character. A red letter day for the gentleman cadets when the boys have metamorphosed into men. Attired in immaculate uniform, arms swinging in perfect unison, heads held high with pride and elan, hearts afire with zeal and enthusiasm to serve the nation before self. The cadets showcase the training they have received. The young men passing out of the portals of this academy are sworn to emulate the gallant deeds of their brave predecessors when their day of reckoning comes and serve as the bulwark of our nation, further enriching glorious and historic traditions of our great nation. For each and every gentleman cadet, the passing out parade is a day to bid goodbye to their alma mater, which was their home for many months. The passing out gentlemen cadets, for the last time, come forward in slow march, past the saluting dais, taking their final step to the soulful music of touching poem by Robert Burns. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind, should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne, Hammer shatters glass, but forges steel. And this is the saga of crimson and steel. Courage, service before self, and supreme sacrifice. These brave hearts will doubtless carry forward the glorious legacy of the Indian Army and set ablaze new trials, push across distant horizons, and soar to great heights. I am a warrior. Defending my nation is my dharm. I will train my mind, body and spirit to fight. Excel in all devices and weapons of war, present and future. Always protect the weak. Be truthful and forthright. Be humane, cultured, and compassionate. Fight and embrace the consequences willingly.